How are you today, viewers? All Classic Gamer here, and welcome to the another episode of my educational series where I teach you how to deal with uh, copyright problems and how to get your videos uh, basically restored if something happened. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about appealing uh, videos. So, first thing you do when you get, you need to dispute. Sadly, in most of the cases, the dispute is gonna be rejected. Here is the proof. Copyright notices, all of these were rejected, except for this one. This one is still pending, so uh, it's a waiting response. If they don't respond by this date, it's automatically gonna be resolved. This company, Yam11-2003 and them all, is known for uh, false uh, claiming uh, anime videos. They don't own any rights to them, so yeah, pretty much dispute if you have something anime related on your channel. Uh, most of the cases it's just gonna be a waiting game, but sometimes they're gonna actually respond and reinstate the claim. In that case, you need to. In that case, you need to basically just uh, uh, file an appeal. We're gonna be learning that in this video. So you can see uh, all these videos. The one that I'm gonna be using as an example for an appeal is gonna be unboxing a video of Wii U mainly because it has the strongest criteria of fair use. All these videos are fair use, don't get me wrong, but this one has the strongest criteria because it's recorded in my house and it is an unboxing of console I purchased. So we're gonna click there, we can see it's rejected, file an appeal, so this is what I want to say before I go on continue. When you dispute the video, company has uh, three options. To release claim on your video, to uh, reinstate the claim or take down the video. When you appeal, they have only two options. To either release the claim of a video or take it down. It, it's also a waiting game, so if they don't do any of uh, these options in one month, it's automatically gonna get released. Sadly, in most cases, they're gonna decide to take down your video, and then we need to do the next step, which I'm gonna be showing uh, uh, in uh, another video. Probably also this uh, video will be used as an example, because Nintendo is most likely gonna be... They're most likely gonna be taking it down when they see this. Uh, I don't know, maybe they're not gonna read the email, and uh, I don't know. Either way, uh, don't worry, your channel will not be terminated if you do this. One strike is okay, and you, it can disappear in 15 days if you follow my instructions correctly. Uh, I'm gonna be telling you everything uh, uh, in a moment. Uh, worry not, your channel is safe. Just one warning, never appeal uh, more than one video at a time, because three strikes and your channel is gone uh, from YouTube and restoring it is then a huge pain, something uh, that is sometimes for some users even impossible. I know some people who restored their channels, but it's really, it's really complicated, so don't risk it. Only appeal one video at a time, so when one gets resolved, then appeal the another one. We're gonna first appeal this and go continue. Uh, we can see here. Now, this is the screen that I'm seeing. If your channel is not verified, you're probably gonna see a screen to verify your channel by giving Google your mobile number. Now, don't worry, that's totally safe, no worries, uh, and let me tell you next thing. Here, they request you to put uh, your contact information. Now, the thing is, name, you can put uh, your legal name, of course, do it, worry not. Uh, Country needs to be the same as your IP address and stuff. Uh, email address, the email you use for your uh, Google account. But street address, city, state, zip code, you don't need to put the, the correct ones. Because uh, you can put some other address where you don't live because uh, we all know that th these are some, these are very sensitive infos, so Never, never put your real address, just same country, uh, same email and the name, but you can just put some other address here, and yeah, Google never, Google doesn't check your, uh, like, uh, ID, and they don't ask you to upload a, a scan of that, so 
just uh, just put some other ones and if somebody falsely claims pretending to be a company that can be a problem if you put the real address because then they get your information and if they are not the company but some troll that's just uh, that's just really bad so never put real address uh, I'm not gonna fill the infos right now because it's not necessarily I'm gonna do it later I first want to explain I want to explain this uh, we can see that uh, they have uh, some things like if you if you, if your country is US this is how the tab is gonna look the purpose and character of use uh, you can like say the purpose uh, commentary because your comment nature of copyrighted work uh, visual or artistic if it's something music related the amount and subst substantiality of the portion used no more than necessary uh, the effect uh, uh, of the use upon the potential market uh, uh, here you can see there is no negative uh, impact because uh, because I am not competing with the original market something like that uh, and this is all good and ready to go you if you know if you if you are familiar with these yourself you can add more information in these tabs uh, this is the simplest way to fill it uh, you can do it much better what I'm gonna do I don't live in US so these are not uh, th this this is not how I deal with these problems I don't have these tabs this is only if uh, this is only if you want to if you live in the US and you need to file uh, an appeal uh, select your country uh, if you don't live in the US just select uh, where you live and it's gonna be look actually way better now you can you can explain why your use is fair use only in one tab here you can write however you want and I'm gonna say the video in question is fair use because uh, it is unboxing video with very little content used uh, with very little copyrighted content used there it is we filled all the information now it's time to continue now they're gonna basically ask you to review this before pressing an appeal I explained everything here is my signature here are my uh, contact in here's my contact information uh, I put the country needs to be the same uh, but all other details uh, you can put other ones except for your name and email put the real ones uh, but street street and other details uh, like city uh, state you can put different ones just make sure the country is the same as your IP address now when you did all this you press an appeal now appeal is successfully submitted and you will be notified with the outcome of the appeal so Nintendo is either gonna take down your video or uh, or actually say that I'm right uh, which is probably not gonna happen because they are always taking down videos so stay tuned for a finale of my series where I'm gonna be teaching you how to submit counter notification how to win all the time and how to get your video back without any copyright problems with these three videos that are gonna be once uploaded like this is the second one uh, if you follow it correctly you're always gonna have uh, no problem with a uh, copyright uh, on your videos and uh, if you have some questions leave in a comment and I will be happy to answer them uh, also be sure not to abuse this and only appeal and dispute when uh, the video is under fair use if you upload something uh, 
like that is not fair use don't do this because uh, i do not condone uh, breaking uh, law and abusing uh, fair use uh, claims uh, so yeah do this only if your video is fair use uh, if you don't know how to determine if your video is fair use or not visit fair use uh, website which i'm gonna be fair use tube website which i'm gonna be leaving a description uh, so you can check out more details uh, by a professional attorney so yeah well, hope you guys enjoyed and if you have some questions let me know